All right, right now I'm going to bleed some air out of the infamously difficult to bleed KA24DE in my Nissan 240SX. Um, so a little background, the engine's freshly installed and I filled it up with coolant, what I thought to be good. And then uh, fortunately I still have a um, temperature gauge, an aftermarket temperature gauge inside the cabin. And uh, freshly off the bat, um, I was getting temperatures around 140 and they were not going over 140 degrees Fahrenheit so I knew something was wrong. I actually uh, went down here behind the thermostat housing there, I pulled it off, I found there to be no thermostat so I guess the previous owner had removed it for whatever reason. Um, some more information on the temperature gauge, here is the sender, um, just a little thermistor sensor that's going to give the temperature gauge its reading, it's coming from the upper radiator hose, the, the coolant coming out of the engine, uh, the most accurate idea of the temperature, coolant temperature inside the engine, so thank God I had that, it told me my temperatures were low, I looked at the thermostat, there was none there, so I went in, I installed a thermostat, and then uh, again with my coolant temperature gauge I noticed that my temperatures were actually getting pretty hot now. They were getting above 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, and the strange thing is, it would be pretty sporadic. Sometimes it would go up to 205 and then it would fall back down to 180 in a very short amount of time. Which I thought was pretty strange that the engine would be able to change coolant temperature that quick. And actually, what I figured out online is that there was probably air stuck in the system. And with this area being the high point and with my sensor being at the top of this manifold right here, I figured that the air was collecting around this area and the air was heating up to that degree or that temperature and giving me this reading. After a few times of bleeding it, I noticed it to be better, but I kept noticing that I was still having air in the system. So, well, the best way I figured out how to deal with this is to open the, take the radiator cap off of the radiator, put a funnel on it that fits in the neck by itself and then fill the funnel up with a good bit of, here I'm using just distilled water because it's pretty warm here and it's about to be spring so I did that to keep water in the system and also now with the water here the pressure is going to be lower here so it's the, um, this is the bleeder bolt when I open this guy it's going to push, this water is going to push everything down and hopefully through here so I want to open this hopefully air will come out, I'll bleed the air out and then I'll start to see water coming out and that's how I know that the system's properly bled. Um, hang on one sec. Alright, so you can kinda see there. I'll undo this guy real quick. Alright, perfect. Um, should be able to see my bleeder bolt. Now never do this when the car is hot. It will be very hot, not very high pressure, but it will be hot and high pressure under there. Also you want to make sure never to tighten this guy too much or else it'll snap off and you'll be in a world of not fun. So I'll be quiet now so you can maybe hear the air hissing out and we'll wait until water comes out and I'll close it right back up. All right, there you go. So a little bit came out, which is expected. I've done this about three times before, but you'll be able to see here as I open the screw, this water level is going to drop. Well, slowly. Now, if I pulled the screw out, water, a water jet would shoot out of here, and this would go down really fast. But now I've got water at both ends, so I'm pretty happy. I'm going to close this guy up. There you go. See water coming out? That's good. Again, not too tight here. That's good. That's more than enough. Um, the other benefit for using just water in the top here is you're barely putting any in the system, so it's okay to use water. And when I have to pull this guy off, uh, I'm going to be cleaning up water instead of antifreeze. I won't kill any squirrels. So that's great. Um, this engine is hopefully great for now on. My temperatures recently have been bobbing right around 180 and not going too much higher. So I'm pretty happy. Um,